made with dark chocolate from Venezuela, this mousse has a unique earthy flavor. Each bite is moist, aromatic, and heavenly. Lina, you know, a lot of things are required to make a meal special, but I think one of the most important qualities is the chef's unique culinary style. I agree. And by combining decades of French cooking training and the warm taste of home, Chef Ricardo's French Latino style is what that sets you apart. No one loves shoes more than I do. I always believe that a pair of shoes is not only an object to accentuate my style, but also a part of my body language. The shoes I wear and the way I walk say a lot about who I am, which is why I sometimes even consider them a and the grease restored it. Next, it comes to the shoe wax. Wax is mainly used for making the shoes glossy and forming a re water repellent layer on top of the shoes. Apply the wax onto the leather fluidly, then we will add a droplet of water on it and buff the shoes, mixing the wax and water to complete a shiny and water repellent wax layer on the leather. Lastly, the edge of shoes need to be taken care of too. Edge color we use is to cover scuffs and fade the color on the leather sole edges. We apply the material with a sponge applicator. Wait for a few minutes until the material dried out. These are the steps of a proper shoe shine to keep your shoes in a good condition. Gentlemen, mastering the art of polishing your glossy leather shoes is important, but it's not enough. You also have to get to know and understand the character of different kinds of shoe leather. That way you can ensure that your shoes age well and look their best over time. In a way, life is no different than the weather. It's often unpredictable, so make sure you always have a backup plan. That way you can overcome whatever life throws at you. The same goes to maintaining your leather shoes. Knowing how to keep bad weather from ruining your footwear can make life a little easier. Suede is a fantastic material that can make you look smart and stylish. However, keeping your suede shoes looking fresh and clean can be a tricky task. Especially the weather in Hong Kong can be unpredictable at times. That's why proper shoe care is brought into play. To do so, firstly you need a suede brush to gently brush the mud and dirt off your shoe. Then apply a water and stain repellent so that your pair of suede shoes can deal with any situation, even if you're caught in the rain next time you're out.
after the break. Throw a punch and break a sweat. Explore some unconventional ways to train your body. And savor the finer things in life with... around boxing and working out inside a dark room. One of the key uh, reasons for that is that I think many people when they walk into a boxing studio for the first time, a, a traditional boxing studio, it's quite intimidating. You know, you see people sparring, you know, everyone's sweats flying everywhere. Um, so we wanted to create an environment where it's dark. You go in, um, you focus on yourself. Um, you don't really see what anyone else is doing, right? So it's less intimidating. So the lights going off is just the first part. So the music will come on, the lights will come on, and basically all that is to create an energy to drive you to move as hard as you can, and box as hard as you can, you know, lift as heavy as you can, um, and just for that 50 minute class, just go 100% and not worry about anything. We want you to leave all your inhibitions at the door. We want you to leave all your stress outside um, and just focus on, you know, bettering yourself for that 50 minutes. Hey, Bonnie, you're actually pretty good. Thanks, Jess. I do boxing every now and then. I just love to try out different exercises that improve my body strength. Well, it sounds like you need more of a challenge. Of course. Let's see what Billy has to offer. So we have two types of classes. One of our classes is Blitz. Um, the Blitz class is the class where, on the boxing side, we actually incorporate more advanced movements. So you'll have uh, slips and rolls, defensive movements, aside from just punching the bag. On the floor side, where we use dumbbells and our slam balls, the workouts are designed in a way where you have to push yourself. We set a set amount of reps, and you have to try and complete it within a set time. So it really comes down to how much you can push yourself um, to get the most out of the workout. And we find that by alternating between boxing and squats and deadlifts, the traditional means of functional exercises, it allows um, the person to kind of get a much more full body workout. In traditional boxing, a lot of people will find that, you know, just throwing the hands is just, it's purely upper body. And because a lot of our customers are female, they receive the benefit of actually adding a lot of leg workouts into it and a lot of core workouts into it. And that actually translates into boxing as well and improving your boxing as well. Des, that was such an amazing workout experience. You know what, most people might be afraid to be in the dark, but it actually helps to improve your concentration. Plus, with the addition of that upbeat music, I feel like I was in a healthy club. You know what, working out in the dark was kind of cool, and the workout was much more intense than I thought. I think we're ready for another round, what'd you say? Let's go. Many people believe that what a person does for a living reflects who they are. But sometimes judging someone by their occupation doesn't do justice to the true quality and style. For example, a medical doctor is an occupation that stresses a lot on professionalism. And an iconic feature of it is a plain white coat. But my friend Dr. Angela Lee's own style is somewhat a polar opposite to the typical wardrobe of a physician. Get to know more about her from her vast fashion collection and her bold and unapologetic style.
Wow, Angela, I know you have a great sense of style, but let's just talk about your wardrobe. What do you like to collect the most? Sure. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with paint, as you can see here. Mm. So my friends would uh, sometimes joke about my closet and they will know exactly what I will collect on the next fashion show. <laughs> so let's talk about your handbag collection. Which one is your favorite piece? Sure. You may think that um, I would love this piece. So this is the latest I've uh, collected. It's very rare on the market mm -hmm. and uh, it's actually very cute. It is. Um, however, this is actually my second favorite and uh, I would love to show you this one. This is actually my first piece of exotic uh, leather handbag mm -hmm. and it's very special in a way that, well, my mom, it's, um, she loves exotic skin handbags and she's a very hardworking entrepreneur and she really knows how to treat herself. Mm -hmm. So when Whenever um, I see this bag, it reminds me that I must work very hard to get my rewards. It is beautiful. Now let's talk about your dresses. Do you have a favorite dress from your collection? Because I see you have some beautiful pieces here. Of course. Um, this is one of my favorite pieces. And this is uh, from a Lebanese fashion designer. Mm -hmm. And in his early days, he specialized in bridal couture. And um, he's extremely talented with uh, his latest hot couture collection. Mm -hmm. Look at the layers, very soft indeed. And I find them very romantic as well. Now let's talk about how you go about mixing and matching your style for events. Like say a very extravagant ball or just a very casual occasion. How do you go about styling yourself? Sure. So basically for a more casual dinner, I would go uh, a little more simple. Mm -hmm. I love above knee dresses and uh, to of course pair with um, a nice pair of pink heels. Of course. If I'm not sure where I'm going or um, I'm not sure about the, the venue, I would usually wear something longer like what I'm wearing now mm -hmm. and uh, I would hide my trainers inside. Great style tip. Yeah. So for a more formal dinner, I would um, take my gown with me mm -hmm. or uh, I love this piece uh, from an Italian designer. Um, I love something with soft embroidery uh, or handmade. And you can tell it's just like very finely done. I would describe your style as fashion and function, but how would you describe your own style? Aside from pink, obvious pink, um, I, my style is more like elegant, uh, slight glam and uh, classy. But let's talk about you. Being an entrepreneur, what's a day in your life like? I would say that uh, I like to be very organized with my day. To maximize my day, um, I try to fit in uh, 30 minutes of cardio per day mm -hmm. and to boost up a little bit of endorphin to get the circulation going. Right. And uh, two things I would never miss. Uh, first thing is the coffee, right. like everyone else. Mm -hmm. uh, second thing is my uh, meditation in the morning. Mm. Running a cleaner is hard work mm -hmm. and it gives me a sense of gambling because okay. um, the competition is real high around the area mm -hmm. and uh, I had to learn to build a relationship with my staff and um, building more relationship with the patients mm -hmm. and uh, I had to uh, keep up to date with the latest technology and right. treatment options as well. There's so much going on for you um, in that terms but for sure yes. yes but you did go from a full-time medical doctor yes. to non-entrepreneur. Yes. How did all that happen? Well growing up as a daughter of a private dermatologist um, I had uh, witnesses um, burden and stress struggle um, from patients suffering from skin diseases yeah. and the one area that's majorly neglected is uh, the loss of youth mm -hmm. so my passion is to um, help these patients uh, ladies or gentlemen um, to rebuild their confidence they once had now do you have any words of encouragement and motivation to all the other young girls out there I have been brought up in a family um, that taught me not to rely on anyone. Uh, recent years, I've been more than grateful of my strong will um, to um, my continuous education. And so whatever field um, I guess you are passionate about, follow your heart and do not sway away from hard work and challenges. Independence is power, of course. A fruitful life begins when you start following your instinct and taking actions that aligns with your own value. 
above all other voices in the world, all you have to do is listen to your heart. And that's all the time we have for this week's episode. If you want to find out more about what we have introduced, remember to log on to our website, 